I just want to make a short video about a um, 2006 um, X3 BMW what I went through to get transmission out um, a friend of mine um, his drive shaft for the front wheel drive for the 4x4 broke so this drive shaft make damage on the transmission so I'm gonna show you the damage that I make Right here, see it, and it bent the um, oil pan. So they put a new um, shaft on it. But the person that put the shaft on the vehicle, I didn't notice the the oil pan. I guess it was bent, and uh, the train leaked completely into a burn the clutches, and then the vehicle it wasn't moving. Um, I want to walk you through real quick. The first thing that you're gonna do is um, remove the exhaust system. You can see that I put new bolts and I seal it up with RTB, high temperature, and uh, new gaskets. But uh, you gotta get the exhaust system out, and then you have uh, these brackets right here on the side. You gotta pop them out. Then you have this other bracket over here on the top that you have to get out. And then um, you have the bootings right here. You pop them out, and then you can completely remove the exhaust system on it. And then after you get the exhaust system out of the way, well, you you're gonna get this bolt out right here on the drive shaft. These ones are the ones they took out. I didn't took these ones out. I took these ones out. And then you're gonna get this nut over here out. There are two. And uh, the dry chaff is gonna go down on you. And you can, um, I'm sorry. You have a freaking nut right here. You see it? You can just grab pliers, uh, big pliers or um, an open wrench. and turn it out and then that will allow you to slide the um, shaft inside but uh, what I do the job is getting this um, I think that it's 40 millimeters out and then the shaft comes down and then you can just pop it out of here and uh, you don't have to take the whole shaft because I will disconnect from here you know what I'm saying so that's uh, something that you have to do and then after that before you take this bracket out for the transfer case before you take this out you're gonna get the front wheel drive um dry shaft out and put on the ground put on the floor whatever blah blah um then after that um, what I did on this vehicle, um, not for nothing, um, I drilled a hole over here. See it? And I drilled a hole over here on the frame. So I was using, um, that's just my idea. I just want to show you how I did it. Pretty much. It's, um, Drop it and then you strap it right. These two holes that I make on the um, chassis or uh, um, one piece, whatever you want to call it, it will help you the whole exhaust system when you're dropping up the, the exhaust system, it doesn't fall on your head. And at the same time, when you have the, you are getting these brackets out, this bracket right here for the all wheel drive, <clears throat> the transmission, um, you, you're releasing all the pressure from the train. So this strap is holding the transmission up. It will go, it will go like this. There's no holes in here that you can use. This one and this one, 
they're too far away. So I make my own way to get shit done at home. Anyway, um, this idea, you don't have to do it, and I don't recommend anybody to do it. Um, but after I have the transmission strap, then I took the brackets out, the exhaust system is out, I took the brackets out, and then dry chaff is out, and uh, the other dry chaff is out, then this is not too heavy. It's maybe like a hundred pounds. Uh, I wiggle it out, and I, I took it out myself. I put it down to the ground. Um, it's not that heavy. Um, the training is a pain in the butt. You know, you got the lines over here. Um, oh, when you're taking the transfer case out, you got a plug over here, and this little fucker right here. It's a pain in the butt. Yes, it is. And don't try to pull it out, because you're better off just taking the little screw that is back there out. Um, what else? I can tell you guys that you can understand what I've been going through. It's already buckled up. I wish uh, um, the reason why we have a new um, oil pan is because the train it came from the junkyard. The oil pan it was all smashed up, all beat up. Plus the old transmission, you know, the, the, the pan it was all beat up over here because this dry shaft broke. Um, so I cannot use that one either. Um, you have uh, access right here for your three bolts that connect or hold down the um, uh, torque converter. Um, it's not that hard. And you need a nice flat screwdriver, you can go through here. Or you can go through here But I recommend you, but it's a pain in the butt, they go through, oh, I can't even put my cell phone through. But well, anyway, that's your um, harmonic balancer, and it's a, it's a bolt over there on the top, so you can turn the engine, and it will move, and uh, your engine will move, and you can see um, the bolts for the torque converter, there are three, three only. Um, I have a hard time popping the torque converter um, inside the engine. I have a hard time um, aligning the flywheel to the torque converter, but I make it happen. And it's not a hard job, but if you're gonna do it on the floor, believe me, it's gonna be a, a lot of work. You know, you have a bunch of bolts in the top of um, your uh, transfer case that you have to get out. You got a couple that go from one direction, like toward the engine, and then you have a couple that they go from the front of the engine to the back. So, you know, I will show you right here. <clears throat> You can see this one have threads on it. This one have threads, threads. These two right here, they don't have no thread. The reason why these ones have thread is because the bolts go this way. Well, these two right here, the bolts go this way. So, make sure that when you buy a training, read that tag. And make sure that you check the, over here the barcode. And uh, a lot of time they ask you um, how many bolts they're on the belt and uh, in the housing. You have to, you know, count them. This, this, okay. This two, they're a pain in the butt. But as long as you have long extensions, you can get them out. This two, they hold in the starter in your vehicle. Um, you got the point over here, the key, whatever you want to call it. And then you have a bunch um, of 10, 11, and 12 uh, 
six point I believe um, bolt um, you gonna use a lot of tools let me tell you that um, the job is done you know one way to move your dry shaft is just turn your wheel and that's it and you can tie all these bolts down and uh, get everything done easy same thing over here you know as long as you don't have the emergency brake on you can turn these suckers you'll be good um, just a quick video I wish I would record everything that I went through but it took me a little longer because we had to order the oil pan from BMW and it took a while to get here with new bolts, new gaskets, um, a little bit of RTV. Um, it's a job that, that you don't want to do at home. You want to pay somebody to do it, somebody to get it done the right way. Is uh, Unless you want to take like a week or a week and a half off out of work and then do it yourself. It's, it's just not that easy. It's, it's, it's a pain in the butt. But I'm talking about just me, no help um, by myself, right? So good luck, everybody, and uh, just a quick video. You can get it done. It's not that hard. Um, as long as you have the right tools. And the biggest tools that I, I really love to use is my lift. Because I went up and down, up and down, like it's not tomorrow with this thing. And uh, the truck is already done. Uh, test drive it on the air, on my lift. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna um, check the fluids again. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you, you drain it through here. And uh, this is your filler um, bolt. Take this one out. Put a hose through you can fill it up by gravity you can pump it in uh, it takes like five quarts of um transmission fluid but bmws that's what we got um hold on a second i'll show you which one we got automatic transmission fluid um for bmw atf um is the right join it took almost five and then it start puking when it's puking out it's full and uh you want to take it for a ride and then check again fill it up a little bit and you're done and another thing the don't forget the empty up your torque converter and then fill it up your torque converter back on um but on that um just a quick video you got um this plug right here you got this plug right here for the four wheel drive and then you have to disconnect to um your shifter disconnect it from here and uh two 10 millimeter bolts over here for uh um the bracket to hold the shifter cable on place uh, um chicken Pretty much that's about it, you know. Um, you got this plug over here, but it's very easy to release. You just push up on this plug, it comes right out, very easy. And, uh, and the exhaust system on the back, they have like a vacuum bullshit um, hose. You disconnect that too um, in the top of your uh, transfer case you have um, a bleeding um, breathing breathe air through the transfer case it's right there on top the little hose you can take it out put it back on later but uh enter up your transfer case right here fill it up right here gear fluid um, recommend it use BMW products um, I'm almost done this is the only thing that I have left over. And uh, you can see my garage is a mess. Got like a million freaking tools 
all over. Hey, say hi, my little gringo. But uh, pay somebody else to do the job. I'm gonna pay to do it. If you wanna kill some time, do at home. Good luck, everybody. Oh, I forgot the curse. What the fuck? This it was a bitch. It was a fucking pain in the ass. Love you all.